Next weekend on August 2nd, the University of North Texas is hosting an autism conference. And what makes this conference different is that parents and researchers are going to work together and discuss the latest findings and resources. Joining me now is Kevin Stewart, the Director of Outreach and Training at the Kristen Farmer Autism Center. Welcome so much to you. Thanks so much for having me. And you know, we've discussed this a little bit. My son Will, who's nine, right. has autism. Mm -hmm. um, so many conferences out there. What makes this conference unique and special? It's a great question. I think really what separates us from a lot of the, the autism conferences and events that are out there today is that we cater to parents uh, as well as researchers. So we, we provide um, over 20 breakout sessions uh, with information that parents can actually take home. They can, uh, you know, take notes and, and really get an idea of, of what's going on in the latest research, take that information home, and really try and implement some of those uh, interventions and practices uh, in, their, in their own home. And so what is some of the latest research showing us? We always hear the numbers, how many kids are being diagnosed, sure. but what sort of research is being done and what are you guys finding out? I think the, the main thing uh, in terms of research is that evidence-based practices is really what you need to focus on. So many different things are coming out um, all, all the time. You know, this might work, this might work, but really when you, when you look at the research, it's the evidence-based practices that work. Uh, you and I were talking earlier, applied behavior analysis mm -hmm. is a prime example. ABA. ABA, mm -hmm. uh, it's an evidence-based practice that's been shown in the research to be effective um, in autism intervention and really sticking with those uh, evidence-based practices is, is what's going to produce results. And of course starting those practices sooner rather than Absolutely. later, um, you and I were talking about how difficult sometimes it is to get an assessment for your child. What's the wait period right now for you guys to try and get a kid, a kid assessed? We are currently uh, accepting clients. Wow. So you, you give us a call and, and we'll um, schedule a time to, to bring in uh, your, your child for an assessment. And I shared with my experience with you, mm -hmm. you know, in some other locations, it can take anywhere for a month to two months, even longer, Absolutely. just to get an assessment. What would you tell parents, and this is always a big thing trying to communicate with people um, that I come in touch with, if you suspect that there might be some symptoms or something you might that should be raising red flags. What are those things and where should they go to get help? They, uh, first of all, you can come to the UNT mm -hmm. Kristen Farmer Autism Center. We are a, a comprehensive autism center. We serve clients across the spectrum and across the lifespan. Um, so we're a great resource for, uh, for parents who are suspecting their, their child may have an autism spectrum disorder. Um, some of those signs are, you know, delays in social communication and uh, lack of eye contact, things like that. And if you see things like that, uh, the earlier that you can get in to, to get an assessment, uh, the, the quicker you'll start receiving services and, and the more likely you'll, you'll be to see positive uh, results from those services. And do you guys have a website that lists some of we this do. information on there? We do. You can find us at autism.unt.edu. Um, all our contact information, direct service information, assessment information, uh, as well as conference information is on that website. And what can you tell parents? This is something I always like to try and communicate as best as possible and it doesn't always come across sure. very well. As parents, we're nervous about getting an assessment because what if it's actually confirmed that there is something there? Um, what would you tell the parents who are maybe on the fence about getting help, maybe on the fence about trying to come to a conference of something like sure. this? Sure. I, I think one of the main things is that uh, the, the services that are available today at, at places like the Kristen Farmer Autism Center are very high quality. Um, you know, it's difficult for, uh, for a parent to receive a diagnosis of autism for their child. It's, there's no getting around that. It's, it's uh, very challenging and, you know, they may lose a, a sense of what they thought they were going to have in the future with their child. But receiving high quality services as early as possible is, is going to increase the likelihood for, the, for that child to be, um, you know, live independently or go to college one day, whatever the case may be. Um, so, so don't be afraid to, to reach out and, and give us a call and, and you know, we, uh, we have a passion for this and so we, we can really, we can help. And a great place to get this information because knowledge is power um, is at this conference. Yes. And I think it's such a great idea. And thank you so much for being here Thanks today. Thanks so much Invaluable for having me. Valuable information, everyone. The conference is Saturday, August 2nd at UNT Gateway Center. You can register online, and we'll be back right after this.